All righty, so let's get started. And um, so when I like to begin, I'll look at what I call the trees or look at the forest and the trees are my QRSs and I see a narrow complex rhythm tacking along and I see it seems to be somebody, somewhat regular here and then, okay, something's happening there, unsure what that is and it's regular again and then something happens again and kind of looks to me like there's something that I call group beating where you've got this group and then a pause and then a group then a pause and then another group and so uh, this would be you know group beating and group beating should make you think okay maybe there's some type of AV block but regardless let's just take a look and see do our normal um, evaluation so we'll see well first what is the atria doing and I see these Nice P waves. My P wave is up in lead one, and it is up in AVF. And so I can say that this is a sinus rhythm, right? Because if it's up in lead one, that means it's going towards lead one. And if it's up in AVF, it's going towards AVF. And our P wave, if it's up in one in AVF, means it's going down to the left. And it's likely coming from our sinus node. I can say it's a sinus rhythm. Okay, now, next thing in our conduction pathway is our AV node. And so I might say, well, what's the AV node doing? We know that our AV node is the PR interval. And so let's take a look at our PR intervals here. Maybe I'll look at uh, down here in, uh, we'll say in the rhythm strip since that gives us a good view. I'll erase some of this and we can take a look. And so... Let's zoom in on our rhythm strip. And so got PR interval here. That's roughly maybe looks like 180 milliseconds. So that looks good. But we said we were looking at maybe group beating. And when you see group beating, you should honestly, first thing you should think of is a second degree block. Second degree is when some but not all P waves conduct to a QRS. And so let's continue to look. So we said this one, this first PR was good. Let's take a look at this PR interval. It seems like it's a little bit longer. I, I would say that's maybe six little boxes, which would be 240 milliseconds. Okay, interesting. And then here, our next PR interval maybe is getting closer to eight small boxes, which would be uh, 320 milliseconds. But it's still, you know, these P waves are still conducting to QRSs, so Nothing has dropped yet. We've got this P wave. It's, oh, it's very long. We would say that is probably two large boxes, which would be 400 milliseconds. But that P wave still conducts to that narrow QRS. And remember, these narrow QRS tells me that it's following the His Purkinje system. So we've got. P waves that are conducting, and then we've got this P wave that's right here, and I don't see a QRS, so this P wave is blocked. And so let's continue to take a look at our rhythm as it goes. We see we get a, a reset, and so I'll do it in a different color. We've got this P wave here, and that's got a nice normal PR interval, so the AV node has reset. And so it gets longer, but it conducts, gets longer, conducts, longer, conducts, continues to get longer, and conduct. And then we have, over here, P, that is blocked. And then we get a reset. And so we have a P, R, interval that is increasing 
until it blocks, which we know is a second degree type one. It's a second degree type one, or another way you can refer to it is a Mobitz one or Winky Bach, however that is spelled. So it's a second degree type one AP block. But we're not done yet. So we said this is a sinus rhythm. We've got sinus P waves. We've got our Mobitz 1 or our second degree type 1 block. But we still need to evaluate the rest of the conduction system. We said that the QRS is narrow, so we think it's coming through the his Purkinje system. But what's our QRS axis? So if I look to lead 1, our QRS is upright in lead 1. And in AVF, it is also upright. So my QRS axis is down to the left. So that is a normal axis. And you can still evaluate our, our ST segments and T waves throughout. So you can start with the lateral leads, one and AVL, and they look good. So you just make sure that those T waves are not inverted and they aren't peaked. There's no ST elevation or, or depression. And so we don't see any of that. We don't see any pathological Q waves. And so based on our analysis, we have a normal sinus rhythm with a second degree type one AP block. And so we know that second degree type one AV blocks do not require pacemakers um, unless it gets to a higher grade. And so that is our interpretation of this EKG. Hope this was a good video and have a great day.